Welcome folks to another Scattered Groves Extra. I recently got my Hour of Station bo booster boxes and uh, I got two. I'm going to open one of them right now. Let's see what I get. I'm just going to go f to the uh, uncommons and rare. Okay, no foil. Merciless external pretty good obelisk spider i like that overcome angel of condemnation big fan of this card um the vigilance just puts it over the top otherwise it's just you gotta kill it right right away otherwise it gets out of hand quite quickly i played a few drafts online watched a whole bunch Fervent Paincaster. Uh, that's a fun little pinger. Um, it seems terrible as a pinger, but it's 3-1, so it can attack for a lot more. Gideon's Defeats. The Defeats are okay. Uh, good Value Desert. And Oketra's Last Mercy. So it's on the cycle of uh, skip untrapping your lands and do something powerful. That just gets you all your life back, which is not too bad. It's a farm and market. It's really good. I like that. Kill a creature and draw two cards, discard two cards, so you get a little filtering. Sifter Worm. This guy's a beater and he can gain life. It's pretty nice. Vizier of the True. Oh, that's okay. I haven't seen too much going on. It seems very expensive. Amit External. This guy can be uh, crazy if you get on early and your opponent can't cast more than one spell a turn. It's hard to block. Deals a lot of good damage. A lethal sting. It's a okay foil card, I guess. Not too fancy. Um, it's a good removal spell. It's three mana. I put some minus one minus on our creature control, but uh, I can combine it with some synergies that uh, um, don't hurt you as much. Unconventional tactics. It seems very powerful, but the problem is it's a sorcery, and it costs three, so it's good if you're playing a zombie deck, if you get in there, but it costs too much, I think. Another one of the tapper guys. Uh, this guy reminds me of Corpse Connoisseur, when you look for uh, uh, your deck for a card and put it in your graveyard uh, with Unearth. It gets a little better because uh, if you activate Externalize or Embalm, you draw a card, so it's kind of some extra value there, too, so it's nice. Ooh, Majestic Myrock? My, my, my this guy's awesome. It's automatically a 2-2. Two, two. Eh, not the best. But any creature gives a plus 2, plus 2, and you get all the abilities. It's better than that. Ooh. Exerted, Eternal, and Exerted. New Hour of Devastation Token Makers. You guys can probably hear my cat running around in the background. He's got a little bell on. Resolute Survivors. This seems like should be uh, almost a, a black card also with the uh, one damage, one life. But it turns into damage and not life loss, so it makes it red for the damage and one life for the white. And this is Defeat. Uh, this card seems like it could be good against the green deck. Um, when I was playing, I noticed it was just a green or forest or green enchantment or a green planeswalker. Um, but it's not to make green enchantments you want to kill. And a forest is okay. This guy seems awesome. 4-4. Four, four. Imminent Doom. I still want to be an Imminent Doom deck. That's good. Imminent Doom is a uh, source of a Doom counter on it when it comes into play. And then every time you cast a spell of that for a mana cost, it deals damage equal to that and put a Doom counter on it. So it can get up and get out of hand, but you got to have that right curve. Uh, Stuart of Solidarity. This guy's nice. Exerts and makes some tokens. Supreme Will. Ooh, I like this card a lot. It's a good versatile card for control deck. Counter or uh, Impulse. Tournament of Scarabs. This card seems fun. I've played it several times. It can almost win the game by itself. Just get the opponent low enough. Bunch of kill spells and force to pay life. Hour of Glory. Solid removal spell. Limited. I don't know about playing it in standard. Um, Exile Creature. They did it with the gods before with exiling things. Uh, and that preload whatever the set was before, but 
Um, very expensive for removal spell, 4 mana, exile a creature. Uh, Manticore seems pretty good. It's 5 mana for 5-4. Not bad. Vile Manifestation. I've not seen this guy do any work yet, <laughs> besides being a cycler. Inferno Jet. Burn your opponent out. I've been burned out too many times with this card. Another Imminent Doom. Im Doom deck is coming. It's coming. It's imminent. I'm sure Saffron Olive will have an Imminent Doom deck. Crypt of the Eternals, not too bad. It fixes, it gains you a life. It's a tri land in a way. Cursed Horror makes a zombie indestructible, not bad. This card's supposed to be a bonkers and modern. Return a creature with for a mana cost two or less. And you give a creature plus two, plus zero in haste. So it could be bonkers with uh, Death Shadow. Hezrit's Undying Fury, it's in the uh, no one tap cycle. Probably the worst of them. Uh, countervailing winds. It's okay. Counterspell. I don't think people use it as much. But a cycle, so. Cycling's always good. Right, another farm to market. Claim to fame. Uh, Vodi of strength. Seems solid. Ooh, nimble instructionist. This is the uh, Stifle on a Stick. I like it. Ooh, Wildfire Eternal. So my <laughs> Foil Rare is a promo card. It's, it's fine, I guess. Uh, it seems like it could be good in Modern with Cruel Ultimatum. But also very expensive. But it's hard to kill. Because it's four toughness. Kind of like a, uh, that one guy from... I can't remember his name right now. Defeat. These dunes don't seem too bad. The deserts. Sack deserts. Another defeat. Ooh, Hour of Devastation. Awesome removal spell. Board Sweeper. Five damage to everything. And creatures lose indestructible. Oh, and Planeswalkers too. Let's get around those pesky indestructible gods. Crook of Condemnation. Eh... Too expensive, I think, for graveyard hate. More six external, other defeat. Ooh, Mirage Mirror copies target artifact, creature, or enchantment, or land. Foil Inferno Jets. Awesome. Ooh, horse token. The uh, Green Oasis. Unfortunately, this one is a sorcery speed one, similar to the white one. This guy seems like it could be cool. 2 2 Flying Prowless. Uh, put an instant sorcery card from the graveyard top of your library, so you're guaranteed to draw something you want at least. Another Tapper. Apocalypse Demon. This guy does not seem that great. Alright, another Stuart. This card seems good. 3 mana for 2 3. It's okay. Uh, gain life equals power, and it's one less, or a lot less than most things to eternalize, but you have to discard a card, which is not bad in a late game, so very solid card. Uh, Riddle Form seems like it could be really good. It, similar to the um, vehicles, you can trigger it when you want it, uh, so it's hard to kill. Because enchantments are hard to kill. And you get scry for just sitting around, too. So it's not too bad. Ooh, Pride Sovereign. A cat that makes cats? Meow. Alright, here's the Blue Desert. That mills your opponent for four. Not bad. The Vizier of the Anointed. Unraveling Mummy. Uh, a 2-3 three for 3. Give an attacking zombie lifelink and death touch. Not bad. Ooh, anointed. Adorned Pouncer. This is the game day promo. A cat that internalizes for 5. 4-4 four, four double striker. Not too shabby for that cat deck. Works well with Pride Sovereign. Because Pride Sovereign gets plus plus for each cat you control. And that guy is a cat. 
doesn't pump up your cats, he gets bigger himself. So this is already a cat lore that pumps up cats in the first set. Uh, Jace defeats... So just a better Gainsay. Um, Gainsay was just a counter a blue spell. Uh, but the, now, that a bonus of his, if Jace plays Walking to Scry too. Otherwise, it's not too special. River Hoopo Hoopo Hoopo. I like that card. Struggle to survive. Deals damage to target creature equal number of lands you control. And then each player shuffles his or her graveyard into her library. Mm, not too bad. Ooh. Ram Ramanap Hydra. So it could be a 5-5. Five, five. Most likely it's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. Hopefully you guys can see these cards. I can't tell when I'm recording very well. Here's the uh, another Green Oasis. Another Value Desert. This guy seems pretty good. Uh, comes to play, put a minus one, minus one counter on something. Three mana for 2-2. Two, two, not too bad. But they can sack you to destroy a creature with a minus one, on it. So if you have other ways of putting counters on it, or the other creatures come into play with counters on it, uh, you can sack this guy get some value out of it. So it's kind of a two for one in a way. Ooh, Torment of Hell, Hail Fire. So, um, a lot of mana can make your opponent's life very miserable. Dutiful Servants. Looks just like the Servants from the last set. Uh, appeal Authority. So on a turn target creature gains Trample and gets plus X plus X where X is the number of creatures you control. And Authority, Aftermath. Tap up to two target creatures you control. Creatures you control gain Vigilance on a turn. So it's not too bad. Um, could be good. I haven't seen it played yet. Burning Fist Minotaur. Solid uh, first striker. Two mana. Two, two one. First strike. Get bigger. Here's another one of these champions. Ooh, Solemnity. Nice combo with some modern stuff. Solemnity is... Counters can't be placed on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands, including your opponent's stuff. Could be a hoser, could be good for them. Who knows? Ooh, Doomfall. Another one of those uh, value cards. So either exile a card out of their hand, or they have to choose an exile a creature. So I like the value of it, and the ability to choose different ones. Uh, this is a solid playable in... Uh, Draft and sealed. Uh, four mana flyer. Cyclone if you need to. Does this hold? Good or updated arrest. That's better than arrest. Uh, Dejiru with the eyes. Planeswalker search. Not too bad, I guess. Sifter Worm. Another. Desert. Ooh, the red desert. This one's seen play now. Any uh, red cards going to see play early while they're with the aggro stuff going on. Oops, they saw my red. Ooh, the Locust God. Pretty nice. Uh, kind of expensive, but um, he comes back pretty easily if he's not exiled. He can be killed, unfortunately, but he also pumps out a lot of value with tokens. And a River Hoopa Foil. Ooh, and a nice art mountain. A little full art mountain. Alright, another defeat, another hoopoo, ooh, and a braid, nice, good versatile card. We're looking for a uh, a red card that destroyed artifacts at instant speed. There's a ton of them at sorcery speed, but this is an instant speed, and if you don't have artifact, you can kill 3 damage to a creature. It's double value. Eh, it's fine because it exiles things from graveyards, but not the best, not the best rare. It's uncounterable, Graveyard Hates, uh, in Standard, so I can't argue about too much, but not the best rare. Alright, another one of the Paincasters. Ooh, I'm just taking a Braid. Saving Grace, this card seems like it could be very powerful, especially on something with a lot of defense, or a lot of toughness, or some type of protection. Uh, it's about all damage that be dealt this turn to you in permanency control is dealt to enchanted creature instead. So it only happens for one turn, the damage dealt to him, but uh, the plus zero plus three sticks around for a while. Alright, reason to believe, reason, scry three, eh, 
Aftermath, they didn't put their minor attacks too because it's so much. Look at the top card of your library. You put it on the battlefield of a creature card if you don't put it in your hand. So, draw a card uh, with its. Or hopefully you set up reason and get a pick creature off it. Ooh, neat island. So, reason to believe seems like it could be fine. Scry 3 is not too bad, but it's not too exciting. I won't write home about it. Sunset Pyramid seems like a value card draw. It could be good too. Even if it runs out of bricks, you can still scry. Another Vizier of the Anointed. Struggle to 5. Arrow of the Eternal. XX, blue, blue, blue. Exile X cards. Creature cards. Get 4 4 versions of them. It's okay. Eternalize them. Make some zombies. A uh, nice thing is also triggers or comes in the play, play abilities if they have them. This makes copies of them. Uh, Appeal of Authority, Supreme Will number two, I like it. Another Spider, another Wildfire Eternal. Ah, not what I want. I don't think I need those. Make an Imminent View Wildfire Eternal deck. So I have the cards. Imaginary Threats, this card seems good. I used it once and it, it's okay. Another Survivors, Value Desert. Ooh, Rain up <laughs> Ramunap <laughs> Excavator. So this is a Crucible Worlds on a stick. Same cost, but it's a 2-3 with it. So, good and bad. And the worst wall ever. Cycling wall. So, in the last uh, couple, this and uh, the other one, I've not got any of those um, invocations of the column. First four, Magmar. This card is pretty good too. Five five is hard to uh, hard to kill sometimes. Ooh, Sand Strangler. Nice. This guy could see standard play. I think. I think he's good enough for that. Uh, four mana is kind of expensive, but three three that kills something. So you can definitely two for one with it. Uh, leave the chance. Return any number of uh, permits you control to hand. So you can also turn lands, and then you can cycle those with chance. Overcome. Updated. Overrun. One green mana cheaper, but only plus two, plus two. Hope Tender. Does not seem very exciting. You have to get any value out of it. You have to exert it. So, But it's a 2-2 two, two for two, so it can't be too bad. Devoted Strength. The Blue Desert. Plus one, plus one all creatures, but it's a sorcery. Resilient. Kenra. Uh, it's fine. Two mana for 2-2. Two, two. That gives plus X plus X with turn lies. Not too shabby. Might see standard play. Sinuous Sifter. This guy seems decent. Um, with turn lies. Five. Vile Manifestation. Ooh, we got the Sand Strangler. Champion of Wits. This guy is already seeing play. In standard with the uh, emerge deck, I think, because you can emerge it, you get some value out of it with discard, put it in your grave, things in your graveyard. Turtleize is pretty expensive, but uh, that also means you're drawing two cards, so it's not too bad. Or you're drawing four and discarding two. So um, there's a card in Time Spiral that did that. All right, Cory Beetle, get a land back, value. And the crook, riddle form, bend our copy. This looks like it could be broken. Uh, may cast non-land cards with cycling from your graveyard. So if you have a bunch of cycling stuff, you can get some good value out of it. I don't know if there's too many things with cycling that you can get value out of, but not bad. That goes on. This could see uh, modern play, I think, and standard play. Because the red decks, creature died, gain eight life for one green. Not too bad. Imaginary Threats, uh, External of Harsh Truths, uh, I like this guy, 3 mana for 1, 3, Afflict 2, if it attacks into the block, draw a card, so you can get damage in and still draw a card, ah, oh, such value, you can sign to Oblivion, turn back down the permanent under his hand, and put discards 2 cards, good value card there, 
All right, here is the green glanzen on tap. Get a 5-4 snake. I've been getting a lot of the uh, full art lands. I have a ton of the full art lands, so I'm not too worried about that. Magmoth, Dune, Diviner, Divine, Divine, Div Divineer. This one's terrible. I don't, I don't even know. Dagger of the Worthy. Equipment's pretty good, especially if a bunch of little kind of guys. Uh, flick one doesn't, doesn't hurt. This thing can still get some damage in. Ah, Captain's Last Word. The blue one that is on tab lands. Gain 12 artifact, creature, or enchantment. This seems, I think, one of the better ones. That and the green one. Get a 5 4 on turn 2. And you can steal their stuff. Ooh, got the insect token that goes with my god. Another hope tender, saving grace. Uh, ominous, uh, um, ominous sphinx. This arm's pretty, pretty good. Five mana for a four four flyer, not too bad. But second discard, give nerf a creature a little bit. This guy is also seeing some standard play right now. Uh, put a plus most counter on it, and it's really hard to block. It becomes a two three, and it comes back as a four four. That's hard to block too. And when it hits your opponent, they discard that many cards. So. Pump it up one power and opponents discarding two cards. Value. Excel so target white creature that's attacking or blocking. Eh. And one of those striders. Another sphinx. Ooh, our revelation. Destroy all non land permanents. I like this. Cost three less than ten or more, but six mana is uh, the same cost as a planar, planar cleansing. And this has a value of being less sometimes. Can't complain there. All right. Uh, search for a card or cycle. Chandra's defeat. Eh. Footed strength. Ooh, Bantu's last reckoning. Look at that. All the destroyed creatures. Uh, destroy creatures, lands it on tap, pretty good. Ooh, a foil mountain. Ooh. Right, another beetle. Overcome. Ooh, the black one. It's a sorcery, but two minus one must encounters. It's not bad. The scorpion god. This guy seems like it'd be really good. Uh, but it's, I think it's kind of slow. But it could be good. It just seems slow, though. That was hidden in the Sand Pyramid at GP Vegas. This is Defeat. There's Punisher. There's Sand Strangler. Ah, I'm an Eternal. Alright, last pack. Let's see what we get. Horde, and there are Magmaroth, Burning Fist, Minotaur, Swarm Intelligence. There you cast an instant sorcery spell, copy the spell. Yay. Alright. Well, those are the cards I opened. Hope you enjoy. Alright, let's open the second box now. Uh, it's a different date, but the other box. Yeah. Open the second box. I'll put both these videos in together. And like before, I'm just going to go to the uncommons and rare. All right, Chandra's Defeat. Good color hoser. Creature or planeswalker. Unconventional tactics. Good zombie card. Dagger of the Worthy. Uh, it seems innocuous. Is that the word? I don't remember the word. But it is equipment. There's not too much equipment in the set. It's more expensive than um, Bone Splitter, but it has a flicked one. Oh, the first card off the top, Nicole Bolas, God Pharaoh. That's a pretty good opener. I'm not too upset about that. 
7 mana. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of his library. Till a non-land card. You may play that card without paying his mana cost. Each opponent exiles 2 cards from his or her hand. Deal 7 damage to a creature or an opponent. And exile each non-land permanent your opponent's control. So, <laughs> 7 damage is boom. I'll 7 you. Seems pretty good. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Sunset Pyramid. It's alright. Card drawing. Accused Horde. Okay. Consigned Oblivion. So, it's it's good. We turned on the important owner's hand. Just like, uh, was it? There's a bounce card that does it generically, but it's attached to a... Uh, what's it called? Card. Uh, Mine Rot. God Pharaoh's Gift. This card's starting to see play. Not too bad. Exile creatures from your graveyard. And make 4-4s. Four Works really well with clumsy playabilities or cycling creatures. Uh, somebody had it against me in a draft today online. They are trying to get... Uh, that value going, but very inconsistent. Jace Defeat, just a better gainsay. Resolute Survivors, not bad. Eternal of the Harsh Truths, so they keep giving this guy more and more power. The original Ophidian was a 1-3 three for 3. Same cost and cost, same power and toughness, but when attacked and wasn't blocked, it would deal no damage to draw a card. This guy, attack not blocked, draw a card, doesn't even have to be deal damage to your opponent, and afflict 2. <laughs> Solemnity, Seeing some play. Cunning Survivors. The set's unblockable creature in blue. It a, seems to be a trend of blue commons and commons of some type of unblockability. It's uh, semi-mediocre. Manticore Eternal. 5-4, Afflict 3. Afflict is annoying, but it's not too bad. Uh, this guy's not bad. Vigilance and Death Touch. This seeing a lot of plays. Pretty good. Nihab the Eternal. Another Mythic. 5 mana for 4 6 of Flick 3. And it's a Zombie Minotaur a Warrior. So very, very small right in here. I like it. You can do a post combat main phase. I'd ready mana pull for each one life. Your opponent lost that turn. Not too shabby. Opening some good ones in this box so far. Can't complain. Just need to open one of those uh, invocations, what are they called? Jace Defeat, Liliana's Defeat, Burning Fist Minotaur. This card doesn't seem that special, um, but the stats are pretty solid. So 2 1, first strike for 2, it's good, but it has ability. So discards is a thing also, and it can pump up the power. Emit Eternal, this card's pretty annoying to play against. Flick three. Three mana for a zombie crocodile demon. These they really reaching deep with these creature types. Reaching deep. Alright. Oasis. Obelisk spider. I like it. Dunes. Endless sands. Oh, this card's okay. It's the exile your own creatures and get them back later. It can be expensive, but in a uh, come to battlefield effects, you get some extra value out of your guys. Ooh, Supreme Will. I like it. Appeal to Authority. Inferno Jet. At first, this card seemed terrible, but I think the ex extra reach for only one red is pretty decent. Kevin's last word. It's the game control of artifact, creature, or enchantment. And no untap. Seems pretty strong. Uh, it's just because it's a permanent effect and not something that can be removed or gotten rid of. Uh, Magmaroth, 4 mana for 5-5, five, 4-4-ish. Five, four, four That's not too bad. Gideon's Defeat. Vizier of the Anointed. This guy's pretty good. Uh, scavenging Grounds. So cards from all graveyards. Not too bad. Um, they needed some more graveyard hates in standard. Um, so this set has the graveyard hate. Has the more graveyard synergy also, but also has the graveyard heat to go along with it. Merciless Eternal. Not too bad. Fervent Paincaster. 
Not bad. Devotee of Strength. Refuse to cooperate. Deals damage to target spells controller. Spells confer to mana cost. Kind of expensive. Cooperate is copy instant source spell. I mean, choose target for that. That's, that's fine. Uh, that part's fine. I uh, refuse seems very expensive. Not a huge fan of the refuse part. They could do something though. Tactics. Crypt of the Eternals. Uh, I was looking at this card earlier, like, this doesn't seem too bad. But then Painted Bluffs is just just better. Uh, it does the same thing, but any color, this just gains you one life. So obviously it's meant for the Bolas. Um, Bolas deck to just be something else, but in limited Painted Bluffs. If you have a different option between this or Painted Bluffs, which is also a desert. Let's defeat Chaos Maul. Awesome. Uh, card. Ooh, and a Rune Rat. Foil. Chaos Maul, good and limited. Because it's a 6 6 creature that can wipe the board for a bunch of things. Not too shabby. Left goes on. Man, I'm getting a lot of these defeats. Desert's Hold. It's an arrest with upside. Brutal Form. This card is a lot better than it actually looks. Because uh, it's hard to kill. Because it's enchantments and makes creatures only on when you want it to. Uh, this guy's fine. Uh, I didn't see him be too amazing. You can just pump, pump creatures based on its power. It's 2-2 two, two for 2 that gives a creature plus 2, plus 2 when it comes into play. And then it can be plus 4, plus 4. But it's not, not super awesome. Hope Tender. Mm, it's alright. Give you 1 mana additional by exerting it. Oasis, another riddle form. Hour of Eternity. Uh, this card's fine. Kind of like in Treat the Angels. Uh, same casting cost as the Treat the Angels, basically. Makes four fours. Uh, makes copies of creatures that get end battlefield effects, but you have to have a creature in your graveyard. So it's not as good. Ooh, horse token. Not as good. I don't think, anyway. But my rambling about these cards doesn't throw you off of watching these videos. Doomfall, I like the versatility. Survivors, Snacious Hunter, Swarm Intelligence. It's very Hive Mind ish. Hive Mind was a card, one of the core sets back in the day, that whenever alien players played an instant sorcery, everybody else copied it. Which had some combos with uh, you pay the upkeep or you lose the game. Magmaroth, Dude, Div Diviner. That's not the best. Another Dunes. Abandoned Sarcophagus. I haven't seen a deck that fits into yet. Um, seems like it should be good. Play cards with cycling in your graveyard. It's just got to be good cards with cycling you want to play in your graveyard. Corey Beetle. Claim to Fame. Diviner. Reason to Believe. Reasons Cry 3, Belief, look at the top card, it's a creature, you put something in play. It's okay. It's kind of expensive, so you can't get too much value out of it. Stuart, Stuart. This card's alright. Uh, I think because that's cycling, it helps a lot. Driven to Despair. Creatures gain Trample and deal damage, draw a card, and... Uh, menace and deal damage, discard a card. So this card is really good and limited. Um, four mana for getting. Depending on creatures you have, you can get like a get eight for one out of it. All oh, these guys are really good. Love drafting those walls. All right, a more expensive uh, diabolic tutor. Cycling. Chandra's Defeat. Torment Scarabs. Torment of Hailfire. This card's pretty good. I like that. X and 2 black. Opponent loses 3 life. Sacrifice the permanent or discards a card. For each X. Misses Defeat. Zero of the True. This card has not been very impressive. Omnius. Ominous Sphinx. I like this guy. 
Dream Stealer. Sinius Striker. Struggle to survive. Booty Strength. Hour of Promise. I like Hour of Promise. Look for two lands. If you have three deserts, get two tokens. So it's a nice little bonus. Open fire. Ooh. I saw my rare. Resolute Survivors. Cory Beetle. Sun Scorch Champion. Simut the Tested. One target creature gets double strike. That's alright. It's four for basically starts at four or five. It's not too bad. Deals two damage, so you get to fire something from ice and fire. Two damage, some to two targets total. Um, but the ultimate look for two creatures or planeswalkers from the battlefield. So it looks for planeswalkers. That's pretty nice. Foil devotee of strength. Still haven't got an invocation yet. <laughs> Razakat's rights, claim to fame, overcome, imminent doom. I want to make an imminent doom deck. Seems fun. Oasis, runes, punisher, leave. And chance. Turn a number row of permanents control a hand and discard a number and draw the card. That's alright. I've not seen anybody use it in limited yet. It probably has some value in uh, modern and eggs variants. Now the defeat. Striker. Permanent scarabs. Ooh, our revelation. I like this. Destroy an online permanents. Three, cost three less. There's ten or more permanents. So. <laughs> farm the market, or as LSV calls it, farm the table. Another quarry beetle. Abuser of the true. Earthshaker Kenra. It's okay. It's a two mana, two one haste. Into the battlefield. Target creature with power of less than or equal to it can't block his turn. Foil Feral Prowler. Foil Cat. And the last deck. Bloodwater Entity. Entity? No. Bernicus Minotaur. Desert's Hold. Ooh. Pride Sovereign. Exert Cats. Unconventional Tactics, Inferno Jet, Sun Scorch Champion, Hazardous Undying Fury. Eh. Hasn't found a home yet. The Undying Fury, I think it costs too much. Doomfall, I like that. Unraveling Mummies, not too bad. Bantu's Last Reckoning, I like that. Stir Up Creatures is always nice. River Hoopo, Hope Tender, Dunes of the Dead, Value Desert, Hollow One. It costs two less for each card you've cycled or discard this turn. So if you find a way to discard a couple cards, it's pretty cheap. And a Foil Graven Abomination. Yay. Never seen anybody play that card, ever. It's always a bigger fish. And you go to the God Pharaoh? Deadlands. Vile Manifestation. Champion of the Wits. Not too bad. Farm to table. Sand Strangler. 
I might see some center play, I think. Saving Grace. Still not seen that played. Ooh, ramen up excavator. What's that token? They have haste? What? I did not realize they had haste. Crooked, uh, crook of condemnation. So a bad relic pretenders. Uh, the spider. Uncage the menagerie. Search your library for up to X creatures with different names that each have chromatic cost X. Reveal them and put in your hand. Show your library. So this was loading ready runs. Spoiler. I thought, hey, that's pretty good. Then he, the part that I missed though is put them in your hand. It just seems too. Yeah, does not seem good. You can get three creatures for five mana, different names, three for mana cost, and then it's in your hand. You just wasted a turn by just searching up stuff. Does not seem very good. Fervent Paincaster, Overcome, Dagger of the Worthy, Juro with the Eyes Open. It's only good if you have Planeswalkers in your deck. And you want to search for Planeswalkers. Otherwise, it's not that good. <laughs> the imaginary threats. Blood Water Entity. Burning Fist Minotaur. Angel of Condemnation. I like that guy. Ooh, a Foil Forest. Fancy. Three packs left. Trying to get that invocation. Pretty sure they're in this set. Not seeing it yet. River Hoopo. Ooh, Braid. I like it. Saving Grace. Hostile Desert. This is Exiles, Deserts, and this becomes 3 4. Ooh, a Foil Majestic Marika Mar Mar This guy. So that's my Foil Mythic. Uh, it's not bad, but of all the cards to get Mythic of Foil. Don't know if they'll see play, that's a problem. And it's not legendary, so it can't be commander. Alright, Sphinx, Unraveling Mummy, Run em Up Hydra, not bad. Last pack. Come on, something good. Okay. Crypt's already bad. Farm to table. Struggle to survive. Petro's Last Mercy, and nothing else. All right. Oh. It's the rares I got. Some decent cards. Good pickups. What do you guys think? Let me know. Thanks for watching.